Well, it has been a long and awaited time and I have not logged into this account in um, well over a year, I believe. Um, so yeah, so let's break it down as to what happened. So I have not logged into Rotary Tool Creations in a long, 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 long time. So what happened is um, I'll show you here kind of, uh, you know, what we're what we're looking at. So. I uploaded how to use Dremel router bits, which is one of the biggest hitting videos, which is the biggest hitting video that I made because everyone wonders about this. I knew exactly what content I was making. Did I execute it perfectly? No, not at all. Um, I was just beginning. I was just learning about Dremel. I mean, there was, there was nothing, you know, about Dremel, uh, and how to properly use it and how to make it artsy and you know all these other things so anyway so i uploaded this video august 4th 2018 okay shortly after that i left for colorado and i went to bible college and i got my degree and everything and so um yeah i uh i you know i had that coming up and i was very busy and also i was doing all of this now granted this is a note 20 um, I was doing all of this work on like my Samsung Note 8. I was editing the video, um, you know, uh, recording the video on my phone, all these other things. And it made it very hard to do a bunch of this. And so all of my videos were beginner videos. These were the first YouTube videos I ever like seriously uploaded and tried to actually do. Um, a lot with that came a lot of hate from people because people are just um, absolutely hilarious. So anyways, yeah, so I, um, you know, uh, I was just I was just off of here for a long time. I, life was busy and stuff like that. So here we are now. I'm sure you're wondering what this right here is for. So this is a man of God gaming. So this is a ministry that I raised up. I'm a minister. I got my bachelor's in biblical studies, my master's in ministry. And so this is what I started raising up. This is the kind of what God put on my heart to do is raise up this Christian gaming community that just empowers and helps people in you know, whatever kind of situation. We just love to, you know, make friends, have fun with people and make a great community around gaming. And so we just want to see, you know, uh, God magnified uh, within gaming and, you know, just bring focus back to the Bible and biblical principles. And so that way we can enjoy every area of our life, you know, especially gaming. And so, um, yeah, so I started that. Um, we have a Discord. And also I do weekly Bible studies. I do my best to do weekly Bible studies. And I do those on my Twitch channel, which is Archangel underscore Teddy Bear. And so you can come check those out. I play games. I'm playing mostly Apex, but we are going to branch out and do some variety gaming. Have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been a it's been an incredible ride. It's been a wild ride. A lot of life, a lot of growing has happened in between now and when I started this channel. Um, so now we have a actual semi-professional camera. We have um, a actual PC down here that we can properly edit video on, which is great. We have a laptop that I can have on the go, uh, lights, all the, you know, fun doodads of recording and content creation and all that other stuff. So anyways, if you want to follow any of those other accounts, please do. It greatly help me out. Also got another ministry based channel based on focused on teaching the word of God and teaching the Bible in understandable terms. And so it's called Resurgence. I'll leave a link to that. My brother just posted his first video on it. Um, and it's something that we're raising together called Resurgence. It's really awesome. Uh, it's going to be really great, really help a lot of people out. And we're very excited for it. So soon we will um, have that even going more. But we do have our first video out there, so I'll provide a link for that. If you want to learn about the Bible, you know, kind of ask some questions, stuff like that. We'll be doing that over there. So, so I wanted to just look at a few um, kind of questions that people asked and reply to some of them. Uh, of course, we'll write a reply to them, but I wanted to just look at some of those, reply to them, and then also look at some of the funny ones. 
So granted of which I put out this video a long time ago and I put it out in a hurry because I didn't have much time. So I went outside and I just recorded it in my flip flops and on a cinder block because I didn't, I didn't care. I did whatever I wanted. Um, and I still do whatever I want. I live in the country, so I, I do whatever I want anyways. And I got stung by a bee, uh, in this, uh, video and a lot of people telling me how to take care of bee stings very thankful uh so i was fine jeff allen here you have no clue what wtf that's kind of rude what you're doing don't you um well i semi kinda uh, dremel is kind of a new tool and unless you've had a dremel and you've used one you find out that it's harder than you think once you're finally into it and doing more more things with it like what you can do one thing good and then you can do like one thing really bad and you thought it was going to be easy because you did this one thing pretty fair um but no everything's a different a different muscle memory a different task and so yeah and around that time there wasn't good dremel videos out there there was nothing i mean not even from dremel themselves like it was kind of becoming a new thing to make woodwork with a Dremel. I know people done it in their like personal lives and stuff like that, but people making videos on it, there really wasn't that. So that's why I made this channel for is uh, I wanted to learn more about it and I wanted to help other people learn about it while I did. And that's what we're still going to be doing. Um, pork chop here. I was riding a bench just seven days ago. I was riding a bench top and the bench is a mixture of pine and two deferring hardwoods. I ran it about 25 to 30 and I have no idea if that was too slow or just right any thoughts on this honestly you have to look within the dremel manual it'll tell you what speeds you should run for hardwood and stuff like that and i think even on uh, some of the other user manuals it tells you too but that's what i would go to first and then other than that you just need to keep a piece of test wood every time you want to route something with a dremel you need one piece of test wood about a foot long so that way you can do a few little runs or whatever. So that way you can get the feel for it, how it's going to be and know exactly what you're getting into. Cause every, every material with the Dremel, uh, router bits is like a different, different animal. And so it doesn't matter, you know, what, what, you know, or what you've done before, you got to know. Um, how hard is it? How sharp is your bit? And then what speed do you really want to do this at? Usually your higher speeds, you don't have to worry about too much. Um, but yeah, so you want to just, just do a little extra research usually, or just test a piece out. That's my best advice. Really wish I saw more videos or Christian craft creations, DIY stuff. Well, good luck for you. We are finally going to get back into that. We have gotten our live squared away a little bit more so we're gonna be trying to upload some videos here thanks brother waiting for a toe to end up in a sky chris john i don't know if he's trying to say i'm waiting for a toe to end up in the sky or if esky is something that i don't know about i don't know we'll find out one of these days all right, which bit did you use? I do not remember the number of the bit that I used, but I do know I just bought that little pack of uh, like six Dremel router bits um, and they were awesome. Uh, I think that one, it might've been called a chamfer bit if I don't quote me on that, but that's what I kind of loosely remember. Um, I have a Black & Decker RTX and been looking to add this attachment. I thought it would work as a routing attachment. So have some particle board end tables and i want to redo the tots with actual wood instead i want to round the edges metal legs will carry over i uh, don't want to buy an actual router and buy and make a router uh table and so yeah this is going to work perfectly uh the dremel router and the dremel bits because when you route something unless you're going for a very very specific look you just need something slight something classy and so that's what i loved about the dremel router bits it's just so minimal and um, it's honestly is really easy to use once you practice with it and stuff like that. So I would just cut you, you know, kind of like a mock square out and, you know, on each side, try a few different bits and see 
you know, what look you want to go with and how, you know, you want to, um, you know, adjust that. So that way you don't just make the whole thing and then you got, and then you're like, oh, I messed up, you know, so just get a little bit of practice in. Upvote for the beasting. We love people like that. Waiting on your next video and where's the Murphy bed? Did I miss it? Thanks. Thanks, Suzanne. But uh, yeah, I never made the Murphy bed. My room is too small. Um, I was looking around and I was like, wow, I do not have room to make hardly anything. Um, so when I, when I was doing videos and just kind of making uh, stuff in my room, there was sawdust everywhere. <laughs> so it was quite... It was quite troublesome to get stuff done. But uh, yeah, we uh, folded on that one. We're not doing that project anymore because it's just, it, it, it's monumental uh, for my size of room. Um, let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, Ruby Firefly, this is funny, five months ago. Is this guy making anyone else nervous with his bare feet in his flip flops working with high speed ro rotary tool on the ground? Wow. Um, yeah, no, I wasn't nervous. I kind of don't care. I live in the country and I just do stuff how I want. If you, if you see something that's unsafe, like you can make everything 10 times safer. Even if, if, if someone's using, you know, the tool and they got gloves and they got safety glasses, you could be like, oh, well, they're not wearing a long sleeve shirt. Oh, they're not wearing a leather coverall. They should wear that just, um, precaution as well um you know all these things you can make everything 10 times safer the fact is is like okay well did you figure out how to work the bit the you know um it doesn't matter how safe it was for me i watch i watch unsafe videos all the time and i'm like oh well i wouldn't do that but um this was a great example of okay well now i know the process of like taking this off doing this da 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 um richard safety is definitely out the window here flip flops first um yeah that's kind of funny i just i i don't i do everything in, my, in flip flops sometimes when i have them um that's just my life i just don't care thank you this fellow bless him seems a bit over enthusiastic about sharing new interest uh yeah i was because when i started this in 2018 there was hardly anyone teaching about dremel route dremels and router bits was one of the most popular topics about Dremel uh, tools. And so that's like, you know, I wanted to learn more. And so actually, if you go to my first videos, I stated that this is a learning channel. We're gonna learn together. We're gonna do every step like together, like everything's bare minimum knowledge on me because there's, there's just nothing out there hardly. Uh, terrifies me to think that one day I'll make a tutorial on how to use an angle grinder. Well, I might as well because I use like an angle grinder like all the time. I live on a farm. Uh, granted, I wear safety glasses with that, but you know, that there's a bigger risk with angle grinders than other things, just depending on the work. And so, yeah, funny, funny, funny. Um, Tiffany, this will be the last one that we reply to let me see how far we are in yeah okay i want to see how you made your foldable desk i was actually worth watching your video down me with the foldable desk that i'm making making i'm doing it all by knowing what it looks like and that's it no directions no size charts all by my eyes she's using a dremel 3000 just looking for youtubers in different ways of doing it um yeah i'll actually show that i finished that project actually i didn't get to finish the video of it because it was it was honestly a nightmare <laughs> to make that desk and so it's actually in the corner of my room over there mounted on the wall mounted on a stud now as to how strong it actually is i can't tell you exactly um yeah, it's kind of weak. Will it look really cool for like placing something on it and doing a product review? Absolutely. We're kind of careful with it. Yeah, it has a a few design flaws. I will say that. But anyways, Catherine Newton clamping might be a good safety option. Me thinks. Well, actually, where I live, uh, there wasn't any way to clamp that down, uh, actually. So, yeah, anyways, 
let's see and then some of these others da, 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 da. i really like this guy hey man hey the main thing is that you are making a video with the dreamer router tool and that's what counts just get a workbench blah blah blah, blah. so i had a workbench on the inside but it's inside my house and um that gets really annoying so when you hear just you know oh god it's just it's just nerve-wracking uh to hear that and so anyways thank you thank you thank you again to everyone that subscribed has watched the channel has shared it in any kind of way it greatly means a lot um we will be uploading a video here pretty soon of buying a dremel tool for father's day and things you should have included in it and things that um, i wish i would have had right at the beginning when i got it and just things i wish i would have known so um yeah other than that that's um that's about it really so thank you everyone we are pushing for 3k subscribers so i hope you are able to see that and i hope you know, I see you again soon. Hope I can answer some more questions for you. I have a lot more knowledge now. I have better time. And yeah. So this is it. This is it. We're we're back at it. So yeah. If you want to check out some of my other channels and stuff like that, um, streaming and stuff that I do, um, there will be a link for my Twitch, link for my minute my brother's ministry page, uh, Resurgence, that we both work on together. Um, that's like our ministry together. And then my personal uh, gaming YouTube, and then also uh, the main of God Gaming Discord, which is where I do a lot of my chatting and stuff like that. So anyways, thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed. I cannot tell you how appreciative I really, really am. So anyways, well, Praise God. Bless you. Thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Just getting updated and everything. And I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Thank you so much.